the, Jay, the, how, how young would you recommend we start to have a look? Because I, I always fight in terms of, you know, kind of let it be, let's not pathologize this little person. Oh, we don't have to pathologize. Um, uh, and, and what, 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 what kind of is your age where you, you recommend that, that we really have a look like what is, is there a perfect time? Is there a, we're going to miss it if we don't get on it. Of course, we're playing with the epigenetic notion here as well, but <laughs> if, you know, for our, our listeners um, out there about about the time that they're interested in cartoons on television and they can track a storyline they're they're capable of doing the kind of feedback that that's just generic and their eeg can guide uh, a lot of just routine um you know you, you don't have to pathologize it but if you set up a whack-a-mole game for kids um that, that that's a cpt task uh, how, how how many commission errors where they whacked where there wasn't something? How many omission errors where they missed something that they could have whacked? Um, and uh, and what's their reaction time? You can have finger tapping and finger tapping and get laterality. There's all sorts of games that you can do that end up guiding people. If you're if you're slow on the tap, you can go and play this game over here, which ends up fostering motor development. Uh, if you're really bad with omissions and commissions, you can go do that brain game and learn how to control uh, theta and alpha and beta. And um, at, at that point, uh, you haven't diagnosed anything, but you've avoided the problems of later life ADD by getting rid of the frontal central theta or the frontal alpha excess. You've, you've fostered better uh, affective control and you've intervened with them fairly early. Uh, the, the, and again, this is set up basically as gaming. And that if you're really good at this game, you don't have to do that. But if you want, you can. I mean, that, uh, you set up a game room for the kids and the uh, uh, Preschool, kindergarten era, uh, you, you can start to actually uh, uh, separate out some people that end up having to have their EEGs looked at a little bit more completely. And uh, those are going to be, be identifiable based on uh, outlier patterns. You know, the, uh, the people that are looking at the uh, simple EEG data. Uh, can kick out somebody for a more complete scan.